just can't let that happen. Mankind has had a fascination with the red planet ever since Archimedes discovered it. Few can forget the most recent mission to Mars when these spectacular images were sent back to Earth. But we should never forget those missions to Mars that were less successful, like the one in 1979. The one that NASA later dubbed Mission Space Cake, or Mission Moron. This $6.2 billion project has gone down in history as one of mankind's greatest acts of incompetence. In space, things travel a lot faster. The task was simple by NASA standards. A probe entered Mars's atmosphere at great speed, approximately 64,000 kilometers per hour. Just, just a mere jog in, in space terms. Once on the surface of Mars, the outer casing of the, the outer module, of course, opens through the assistance of a, a turkey-type timer. And then, of course, the sample retrieval buggy, Snapdragon 9, comes onto the, the surface and, of course, goes about its work. Remarkably, phase one went to plan. The probe landed gently on Mars's surface, be it 76,000 kilometers off course, mere inches in space terms. An excited NASA prepared to transmit the first images from the surface of Mars. At first, it appeared there must have been a faulty circuit, as the images were dark and lacked definition. A complicated checklist procedure confirmed their worst fears. Somebody had left the lens cap on. Jack White was a wheel technician on the project. He remembers the drama well. We realized that some bloody idiot had left the lens cap on. NASA physicists eventually managed to remove the lens cap by repeatedly driving the buggy into some nearby terrain. They then snapped off 24 photos, some with flash, some without, three on glossy print. NASA now needed to develop the photos in order to view them. And of course, the film was developed at Skylab, the one hour photo lab hovering in space. The, the camera now is traveling off through space at, at 24,000 kilometers per hour. Well, that's a mere jog in space terms though, Dr. White, surely. Uh, and that's, that's uh, you know, just, just a mere jog in, in space terms. At 62,000 kilometers per hour, a mere jog in space terms, but then drama. It crashes into Skylab, destroying their navigational equipment and the delicate rollers needed to develop the snaps. The success of the mission now lay with the sample retrieval buggy, Snapdragon 9. But then drama. The buggy is, is, is remote controlled for, from the Earth uh, procedures and it, it is to go out and, and do its exploration and pick up rock samples. What went wrong? You've got to realize that, that it takes uh, approximately 42 minutes for, for messages to, to, to reach the, uh, the instructions on the, on the mobile. When it was supposed to do a left turn, that's the buggy, the, the machine just kept naturally going on for another 42 minutes. Jack has now sold most of his high-tech equipment to cash converters. He's put his nasty days behind him. Scott Scott now works in a two-hour photo lab near Tallahassee. His wife is having an affair with a guy called Denise. Dr. Jerry Garcia Mincinson became an expert on the Sasquatch. He was recently kicked out of a Bigfoot conference in Las Vegas for getting a drunken brawl with a Sherpa. As we look up at the stars into a future, a life in space, we can only hope that NASA have learned from their past errors. Just click to subscribe. Tell them I sent you.